talking about, you know, a change in administration, right, in America now. Of course, most of you are aware that Trump is has finally conceded. The inauguration is probably taking place right at this moment as I'm recording. And I was wondering, like, I wonder all the people who made them money, who made a career out of the economy of Donald Trump. I wonder how they're feeling now. Like, you know, some of those late night TV hosts, um, the, most of the cast of SNL. And then somebody like Sarah Cooper, who in, basically made an entire career and got herself a special, I think, on Netflix from doing lip sync quote unquote impressions of Donald Trump, which for my liking are probably one of the most least funniest things I've ever seen in my entire life. And maybe an indication of just how I wouldn't say old people get. I'll just say how things just change, right? Because I think the age thing is a little bit of an easy cop out. But there definitely is like a evolution and there's just a shift in the taste levels and what's appealing what isn't appealing as time goes isn't it and there's no really explaining why things are more more entertaining for others than another thing it's just no explaining for it. it's just like a time in history and it is what it is but i never really understood this whole um lip syncing thing at all i didn't get it so i'm going to play a couple of clips for you now this is a little compilation sarah cooper impersonating trump compilation for you guys just listening via the audio but just like again like what you need to picture if you're just listening to the audio of this is there's this young lady who's essentially doing a impression of trump wearing a blazer and just mimicking his stuff just lip syncing it that's it and that's the comedy and i don't really understand i guess the comedy is the fact that she's doing what trump is she's basically mimicking what trump's saying in a way and how he speaks is pretty humorous it's a pretty he's got a pretty funny way of speaking his cadence and the stuff that he says in general it's not necessarily the most presidential thing in the world so maybe that's the punchline but it just seems so odd i never really understood this thing at all and i wonder again what does she do in a post uh trump world does she continue on and just hope that he comes out raids his head again from the parapet and says something dumb or does she go and kind of change tact and then start making the fun out because the reason why i think it was fun is because everyone hates trump in it right for the most part but if if everyone's if everyone wants him to get out and they want to replace him with biden does it does it have the same humorous effect if you're taking a piss out of somebody who people are pretending doesn't have any sort of what do you call the thing cognitive is not suffering from any cognitive decline right everyone kind of conveniently forgot about that stuff or chose not to speak about it so will they be happy to see you taking a piss out of his cadence and how he stutter and all this sort of stuff if that's their guy that they wanted to replace trump with who knows but let's play a video on you and i tested very positively in a in another sense so negative. this morning yeah i tested positively toward negative right so no, I tested uh, perfectly this morning, meaning, meaning I tested negative. And you know, when you say per what? capita, there's many per capita, it's like per capita relative to what? But you can look at just about any category and we're really at the top, meaning positive on a per capita basis. We are bringing our country back and a big focus is exactly. What a great job to have in it, right? Lying on your bed, wearing a hoodie, and lip syncing what somebody else did not coming up with any original content of your own just choosing the bits that you find to be the most humorous of their speech uploading a little 30 second clip on your tiktok getting millions of followers and views and then parlaying that into getting a netflix special because i think she got one she did like a sketch show i think i remember seeing a trailer for it. i didn't watch it because i'd assume it wouldn't be my kind of thing but god damn it man what a gig in it what a good gig leave that with the uh, minorities mm -hmm. Uh, specifically, uh, if you look at uh, the Asians. We hit the body with a tremendous, uh, whether it's ultraviolet or just very powerful light. And I think you said that hasn't been checked, but you're going to test it. And then I said, supposing you brought the light inside the body, you can, which you can do either through the skin or uh, in some other way. And I think you said you're going to test that too. Sounds interesting. We'll the right, folks who could. right. And then I see the disinfectant. Like the funny thing is what he said in it. That's the funny thing. It's not the funny thing of how she's kind of parlaying herself. It just doesn't. Again, I, I'm really curious to know what happens to people like this post him. Like, what do they do? Again, do they pivot to Biden content? Do they double down on Trump content? Or do they just like 
do what like most people should do right use whatever means that you can to get attention and to get the eyes on you and then use that to then show what you're really about in it but don't just like lean into that one thing until the wheels fall off because then everyone's going to get bored of you and want to move on pretty quickly but i don't know man i find it a bit odd but it knocks it out in a minute one minute and is there a way we can do something like that uh by injection inside or or almost a cleaning because you see it gets on the lungs and it does a tremendous number of the lungs so it'd be interesting to check that so that you're gonna have to use medical doctors with but it sounds it sounds interesting to me i think you said well if you'd like it yeah i don't know i don't know um i guess good luck to her in it in the future but god damn it man what a shit show